Hello Street Carters, how you doing? Long time no see. I know, I know, I've been rather busy with work and Gran Turismo 7 and Horizon Forbidden West, but uh, I'm here now. I hear there's a bit of a tournament going on, and since I might have had a little bit of something to do with it, uh, I thought I'd better stop by and put some laps in. Uh, now, as you can see from the notifications down the bottom there, uh, I've not been on the game for a long, long time. In fact, it's been over two months. Not since myself, Rob and Lawrence and co got together to have the uh, final of the Easter Cart Wars have I even opened this game in any capacity. That's playing the game, uh, testing, development, any of that. Not done anything. I've not been in the game in two months. So um, I might be a bit wet behind the ears. I hear there's even a new uh, control system, which I have honestly not tried. So um, uh, down here, you can see that I've got my game open and um, I've gone ahead and uh, I went in on Saturday. It's now Tuesday evening. Uh, I've bought the uh, Parallel stock cart there. I'll let you see this in, uh, in big screen so you can see me. Hello up there, you got my over the shoulder view so you can see me uh, playing with the uh, controllers when I get going. Um, but as you can see, that cart is totally stock. Radiator stock, exhaust stock, fuel tank stock. Um, we can play around with those, but what I'm going to do for my first few laps, I'm just going to go in with a totally stock cart. Uh, we're at PFI, I think, for the first uh, first round. I've not done any laps of any kind in two months, and uh, I thought we'd go ahead and uh, see how we get on, see what sort of time we set with a completely stock cart. So here we are, round one, PFI. Um, so Rob naturally is um, top driver. Chris is only third at the moment. I, oh, I expect him to be pushing for uh, honours at the end and I don't know if Lawrence is going to turn up and uh, mm. steal it at the death. But uh, let's have a go and uh, see how we get on. Obviously then I will uh, upgrade the cart uh, with what I'm allowed to upgrade it by. Uh, so I can't upgrade the engine but we can upgrade pretty much everything else by the looks of it. Uh, I've already put the Lacan uh, LO tyres on. They came with stock tyres so I'll put those on so they're fresh tyres. Uh, it's been so long, we're even looking for where what, what button I've got to press next. And uh, now the cart came with 90 octane fuel, which I've not changed yet. So let's put that the 100 octane fuel in because I believe we can change that. Not at the rules. Go to next and um, Ackerman. Never tried it. Not tried it. I'm aware of what it does when I used to cart in real life, but uh, I have not done a thing. So I'm going to. Uh, play with my steering lock because I used to uh, stick that right up to the top and then knock it down a couple of levels. Um, obviously I can't update, upgrade my brakes because I've not um, done anything with my brakes yet, they're still the stock um, stock brakes. Now, uh, I don't even know what setting for the um, uh, for the tyre pressure. Uh, let's just stick it at, uh, for, well the softs I always used to do about low 10, so let's go Let's go 11.2 to start with. We're, I mean, it, it's hot there at the moment, it's hot by British standards anyway. So we'll do 11.2 and 11.15 for the rears. Honestly, I've, I've got no idea how much the control system has changed. I know things have moved around. Now, you're all aware that I do a crazy seat position and seat height. Can't do anything with that at the moment because I've not bought the new seat. Obviously, I will do eventually, but not just yet. And I've got the stock radiator. So let's just stick it uh, about halfway. And Let's see how we get on with a first race around PFI in the Parallel Stock Cart. Again, hello up there, you can see me with my brakes and accelerator, seeing how I do this game. So, uh, let's get on and see how embarrassing this is going to be. Okay, I'm starting from uh, second row of the grid, oh my god this cart is slow. AI disappearing off into the distance. That feels really twitchy on the uh, on the handle. We might need to have a flavour of that. How many laps is it? Two laps. I'm going to call this as well. That is twitchy. That is twitchy. Probably not going full whack at the moment. I just want to get used to the handling of it. See what's changed. Miss me apex by country mile. We're not challenging the apexes in any way, shape, or form here, are we? I heard also the um, track limits have been tightened up, which is a good thing. I like to see that. I like to see the, uh, people within the uh, track limits. So usually on that corner, you always go wide on the final corner at Beerfall. Right, so that's uh, a 
good five seconds at least off of the uh, sort of time you'd be running on a fully kitted out CRG. Okay, it's starting to come back to me. Okay, so we're a good 10 seconds, nearly 11 seconds off of Rob's time. So we've got some work to do. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade the cart to uh, whatever I'm allowed to upgrade it to. So I, said, I think I can upgrade everything except the engine, can't I? So I'm going to go and do that, get those on, uh, on order, and uh, I shall come back and see you in a bit. See you shortly. Okay, we've just um, upgraded the cart, so uh, we've uh, put the uh, Freeline disc brakes on, the uh, T8 SK seat, SK Works radiator, the Firebird Falcon Level 4, and a 3.5 litre fuel tank. Obviously, I'm not allowed to touch the uh, engine, so uh, that's upgraded that quite nicely. Put my face back on so you can see me, hello. And uh, let's go and do another race. So, um, we've only done the one run so far. Go back into the uh, championships, wherever it is, the Paralympic British Kart Championships, round one. We are currently sitting in 55th place, which isn't particularly good. Get the uh, rear camera back on so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, I'll stick with the same tyres for now. I'm not going for ultimate times just yet. Um, the reason being at the moment, uh, PFI is 19 and a half degrees, and I always aim for the coolest possible temperature. So it's quarter past eight in the evening. I need to go and make dinner for the wife. She's on the way in from work. Um, but I'll probably play, I don't know, around about midnight, one o'clock in the morning when the temperature's at uh, PFI, which is uh, 15, 20 miles in that direction. Uh, should be a lot cooler and therefore the whole thing should go uh, quite a bit quicker. Uh, so I've now got the option to play around with my brakes. I always keep them quite, uh, quite sharp on the front end. Um, tire pressures I'll keep the same for now. I shall play with them later. Seat position, you all know the top of the position. I'm the team 18. Seat height, uh, let's stick with 15 for now, see how that gets on. And because I put the SK works on, that operates better in cooler temperatures. At the moment, it's going to be quite uh, out of its temperature range, so I'll keep it, uh, in fact, I'll probably keep it right down to zero actually. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, see what happens now. I'm still going to be way off the, way off the time. I've only done one run and I've not uh, bedded myself in yet, but uh, we shall see what happens. Okay, we're on the front row of the grid though. Now, I went with the um, Firebird, Firebird, Fireblade, whatever it is, Firebird exhaust. Um, I always prefer that over the uh, power finger unless it's a very, very tight and twisty circuit. Because uh, if you can um, learn to uh, get the cart to um, keep, its, keep its speed up around the corners, then uh, it's the way to go. You'll benefit from the uh, higher top end speed, and uh, provided you don't bog down through the corners, which You've got to be careful around these couple of hairpins, for example. I've not yet got my uh, got my line quite right. And also, because of the way I've got the speaker set up at the moment, and I'm playing with this cable on the side of it, I can't quite hear the engine note and the tyres squealing at the moment, which is key to being quick in this game, I find. Because if you know what the tyres are doing, then you can react and uh, keep your speed up at the moment. It's difficult to see what I'm or hear what I'm doing with the engine and the uh, tyres and we're wide there. But like I said, this is a bit of a cycle lap. Uh, when I'm going for something a committed committed lap, I'll record onto the iPad but I won't have the cable on. Just because it's a bit awkward. Um, you, can, you can actually feel the weight of this cable sticking out the side of the, uh, the iPad at the moment. So, uh, a much better first lap. There's three or four seconds off of what we did last time. So I imagine we're still going to be what, 
four or five seconds, at least five seconds off of what uh, Robert's done. And I've gone very deep in there, so that was a brilliant, uh, brilliant corner. At least didn't hit the crash barrier that time. That's all I want. My lines need working on, definitely. Especially this line here. That's a little bit wide. But where are we? We are. We're one fifty-seven six, so that was what with five six seconds off of what we did on the first run, and that was purely down to the difference in the cart upgrades. It wasn't really anything I did. Uh, so it's now a case of me working on my lines and um, getting back to where I should be. So um, I'm not going to be challenging Rob. I'm pretty sure I'd like to be within a second of him. Uh, if I can get anywhere near Chris, I'll be happy. And uh, we shall wait the inevitable uh, arrival of Lawrence to uh, pinch it to the death, I'm pretty sure. So, uh, right, I'm going to uh, go and make the dinner for the wife, uh, watch the uh, last episode of Stranger Things, and then perhaps come back and uh, have a go this evening when uh, her and the dog have uh, fallen asleep. So, uh, I'll see you in a bit. Ta-ta. Okay, this time, no video camera. It's 1.30 in the morning and I was in bed. And the last time I tried to bring the video camera into the bedroom, well, it, it didn't go well. Anyway, this turned out to be my best run of the event. You might have noticed on my settings there that I use the Ackerman controller on this one. I've not got used to it yet, but I did manage to go ever so slightly quicker with the Ackerman settings, only by like 0 0.05 of a second, but I'll explore it and see how we get on with it in future events. Well, all things considered, I suppose that wasn't too bad. There was a big mistake on that final corner, maybe lost a tenth, but I'm not too disappointed. A couple of months away, I've kind of lost my touch really, I've been playing Gran Turismo too much. But I'll blow the cobwebs off over the next couple of days and hopefully my performance will improve on the next event. This was good enough for third, Chris pit me and Robert was way out in front, so congratulations to Robert, he is the class of the field at the moment. And uh, well, hopefully I can improve this performance and uh, I'll see you next time. Take it easy.